Hey friends, welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. I'm Kayla. Thanks for stopping by for a visit today. I always enjoy visiting with you guys and I'm so thankful to be here with you today and thankful that you are here with me. <laughs> so today is day 17 of my yarn advent. I am running a couple of days behind. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Anyway, Today I am drinking a coffee out of the sampler box that Denise had sent me. Let me tell you what flavor it is. Oh, that is so good. That is delish. It tastes exactly like a cinnamon roll. The name of the coffee, it is a cinnamon roll bun or cinnamon bun. And this is a double donut coffee. There has been a lot of these, the double donut coffee brands in here. And they're all like this unique flavor, like a sweet treat flavor and stuff. And they are so good. Now, yesterday it was um, vanilla cloud. I didn't get to drink it because my cake cup machine jerry whatever it's called malfunctioned and pam you were right it didn't poke a hole in the bottom of the cup and so it filled that cup up with water and then just the liquid went everywhere and i had a whole mess to clean up yesterday but anyway this cinnamon bun coffee tastes just like a cinnamon roll yes very delicious very delicious well i hope you're all having a great day my day started off a little stressful but i'm okay now and big daddy's okay now but this morning while he was getting ready for work while he was in the shower i was in here getting my stuff laid out what all you know what all i needed for this video and getting it all laid out and everything so my plan was as soon as he left to come do my video and get it up, you know, first thing early this morning. So he leaves out the door and I'm just waiting on him to get in his truck and leave. And um, I had a movie play in and I was working on a little something that I was tending to at my desk. And I heard him yelling. And so I looked up at the security screen, the camera screen, and... I could see half of him, just like his head and his shoulders. He was on the ground, face down, flat out on his stomach, face down. I could only see part of him on the camera because then it cut, he was off the screen. Oh, I jumped up and I was getting my wrap off and <laughs> trying to get out the door to go out there. And he's just sprawled out face first, flat out on his stomach in the dirt mud leaves whatever uh, i immediately was just crying because i just knew he was going to be hurt and he just fell he just fell and so um we like to never got him up i had to end up getting a chair and it was hard for me to get a you know a good sturdy wooden chair out there to him and I was struggling and crying. And he was like, I'm okay, I'm okay. And I'm like, you don't look okay. <laughs> but we managed, I got him a chair and he managed to get up. Then he was just dirty. And so then he had to come in and clean up and get changed and all that. But that was scary. That was so scary. He could have really have hurt himself, broke something or whatever. So I was a bit shook after that. So I gave him enough time to get to work. And then I texted him and asked him, was he okay? Did he make it to work okay? Did he make it in his office, you know? And he said he was hurting a good bit, but he was supposed to go to the nurse's station to get something to take. So yeah, I hope he's okay. He'll probably be more sore tomorrow after that, but oof. I was so scared. And it was raining also during all this, okay? He's laying out in the yard. The dirt, mud, leaves, 
and it's raining on him and then I'm out there trying to get this chair to him in the rain <laughs> trying to help him get up and it's just raining on us so that was crazy that was crazy I'm so thankful praise God that he is okay and not you know didn't break anything oh. so I wanted to share this with you guys when I met my friend up town the other day Angela she um, gave me this pack of socks that she had got at Walmart I, I believe that um, she told me that they were a Black Friday special that they had before Thanksgiving. So I don't know if they have these anymore. But if they do and you have cold feet, you might want to check these out. It was a two-pack. Let me just get one of each. It was a, it's a two-pack of two pairs of these socks. And um, look at this. That lining there goes all the way down. And y'all know I have Raynaud's and I just freeze, my feet freeze. So, yeah. This is called Muck Lux Cozy Yourself Women Cabin Socks. Like I said, these came from Walmart. They may have them online if they don't have them in a the store. I don't really know. But, yeah. Thank you, Angela. These are so cozy. Anyway, here in Louisiana, it is supposed to be down to 11 degrees one night this week. Like, maybe Wednesday night or Thursday night. And it's raining all week, and it's just cold and just yucky. So, I will be wearing these. <laughs> I will be wearing these and trying to stay warm. Snuggled up in there. Got the heater. I got a little um, heater right next to my feet. Well, not right next, but you know, in the area. So it's, um, can warm up my feet. And then we have another heater over by Phoebe's bed. That's a bigger heater. So it heats the whole room. So she and I can be cozy in there in the parlor. That's where we hang out. But anyway, I am so happy to have these socks. And, um, especially with it getting so cold this week. 11 degrees. Y'all know us Louisiana people are going to be crying. <laughs> we are going to just not know what to do. Uh, so, here's what my wrap turned out as of yesterday. I added the blue in. And I went ahead and did the granny stitch. Here I am. Okay, I'm going this way, so I'm showing it to you. I think the front side. So I put that blue in, and it's the granny stitch, and it's looking really good. I like that. I'm pulling stitches out. I really like how that turned out. And this is what my wrap is looking like. So, yes, this, this project is going to carry over to January. And that's fine. It'll give me something to do. Um, Dakota had told me to save the baggies from each day. And then, because he had more of the yarn, the little yarn balls. I don't know how many he's got, but he said it was more than 25 for, you know, the 25 Advent days or whatever. I don't know. So... He said to save the bags and give them back to him, and he would just start over with them. So that's good. So I'll just go all through December. Is December got 30 or 31 days? I don't know. But we'll just carry on through December, and then we'll just start over with the baggies in January. And just keep adding to this. This is this adding a color a day and coming back and showing you guys is great accountability. And it's just... It's working up fast, and it's just a great way to, um, you know, get a project done without it seeming like I'm in a rush or stress or anything like that. So, that's what I'm going to do.
And if you if you don't know what I'm talking about, my son Dakota fixed me some little baggies to open each day, and this is day 17. So let's see what color we're going to be adding to this. We. It's just me. It's just me. <laughs> what color I'm going to be adding? I thought I thought I went, I didn't pull a yarn at first. I was like, oh gosh, where's the yarn? Okay, so saving the baggies. Okay, so ooh, guess what? Red. I love red. I love all colors. I really do. Yellow is my favorite color, but there's not a color I don't like. I like all colors, really. Oh, so here it is. Here's my red. And I'm going to tie that into my aqua. And I do like red and aqua together. Okie dokie. I'm going to tie that a couple more times just to be safe. I don't want the knots to come out or anything. So I usually tie it uh, that first time and then I usually tie it two more times just to give it, um, to give me peace of mind. I don't know if it actually gives it any more reinforcement, but it makes me feel better. <laughs> and so that's what we're doing. We're making me feel better. <laughs> okay. the garbage can of course so I'll be adding that red in that is looking so good that's how far we've gotten so far so it's growing it's growing and it might take a while before it gets all the way because I do want this to be long like I want the back to come down to probably like the back of my knees and um, come all the way up to my shoulders and then we'll stop for that panel and then I'm going to do a front panel and a you know two front panels so yeah that's what we're doing so I'm going to get my strap and someone did ask me about this they you know hadn't seen it you know it's really hard to see every video that somebody puts out I understand that but they hadn't seen a video and know what this is this is actually a can camera strap that Jennifer from Cinnamon Stitches had sent me and so it, it holds my crochet hook so that I can crochet and I do have other straps that I am using um, for different size hooks and they are working just great just great so when I'm working on a different project which I've, I've been doing other projects um, not not a whole lot I, but I've started a couple of things well I finished something too and I will show that in the video but um, but yeah I'm using um, different I have several different straps and the different straps are working better with different size hooks and stuff like that. Um, this is a seven millimeter hook with a rubber handle. And so I'm using that with this. And then there's another strap that I have that works better with my five millimeter hook. Uh, and I can use my four millimeter hook with that. So, you know, I'll be using different kinds of straps, but it's just a little device to hold my crochet hook. And I do appreciate Jennifer from Cinnamon Stitches, and I appreciate everyone else who was just so very thoughtful and wanted to help me be able to crochet and was trying to come up with a device. You know, it was so very thoughtful, and I appreciate it very, very much. So, I'll be using those at different times with different hooks, you know. Um, 
And that just helps me be able to crochet. Ooh. I know, though, that I was using, um, uh-oh. I'm not doing the granny stitch. I'm glad I looked back at what I was doing. I'm doing the V stitch. <laughs> I looked at the one before it and I was like, oh, we did two. I looked at the one before it and I was like, oh, we did two. <laughs> it is the V stitch on top there. So, and I'm not chaining in between. So I'm doing a V stitch every third stitch. So I'm skipping two and then a V stitch. Glad I looked to pay attention to what I was doing because you never know. Yesterday, um, Big Daddy and Dakota went to the mall and um, they went and visited with Elijah for a little bit. I really hate that I didn't get to go see Elijah. Um, and then they went to the movies and saw Avatar. That's that movie with the blue people. Not my, not my movie. <laughs> not my cup of tea at all. But they enjoyed it. That movie was like, like over three hours long, maybe. It was a long time. And then they stopped back by and saw Eliza before they left. And then um, Big Daddy came on home. And then. Um, when Elijah started to get off work last night, he had a flat. So, guess who he called to come get him and take him home? <laughs> so, Big Daddy went and picked him up and took him home. And also, a girl that, that Elijah was actually giving a ride to. So, he did that. And then got back home. That was pretty late because they had stuff to do. Um after the mall closed they still had you know things to do for the store so actually he wasn't leaving until really late um so i know i always tell stories about my kids and what's going on in their life but that's what i'm about but um my son elijah you know he's the manager at a shoe store in our mall um, he's been having so much trouble hiring employees they just people just aren't putting in applications and he has it out there online um, the positions that they're hiring for and stuff and people are just not applying but he had this one girl to apply and so he hired her and she worked one day and then she came back the next day and worked and um, Elijah had got off work a little bit earlier than close like a different person was going to close so he left probably you know like an hour or so earlier and then um, the girl that was counting down the it was two girls counting down the register and they had let this, the new employee, they let her leave. And then they counted down the register, and it was $220 short. So um, they called Elijah and said, you know, the register's $220 short. And they're like, what? Because their register is usually like right on the money. If it's short, it's like just dollars or cents. It's never anything like that. So they were just talking about, you know, like what could have happened. And so the new girl came up and the the ones that were at the store that had called Elijah, she said, well, you know, she bought all those shoes today. And he said, no, I didn't know she bought any shoes. And she said, well, didn't you check her out? And he said, no. And she said, well, when she left, she had five, she, five, she took five pairs of shoes with her. And he said, no, I didn't check her out. And she said, well, I didn't check her out either. 
And he said, you didn't ask to see her receipts? And she said, no. I thought you had checked her out before you left. And he said, no, I didn't check her out. So now they think she stole five pairs of shoes plus $220 out of the register. Two days on the job. Second day. And that's what she did. So um, the next morning, Elijah had to call his district manager and HR and loss and prevention team and all that kind of stuff. So he's having to you know, wait and see what they're going to do about that, which I doubt the girl shows back up to work <laughs> unless she wants some more shoes. But she must have went Christmas shopping. She must have got her some money for some more Christmas shopping. And then she went through and she got five pairs of tennis shoes. And those shoes, he, Elijah said it's, it was about $800 worth of shoes. Because those shoes are over $100. You know, they're, they're expensive. So, yeah, that's what he's dealing with. He is so ready for Christmas to be over. Um, just because of the long days and they're so busy and he's just tired. <laughs> he's tired. He likes working there. Um, it's just a lot, you know, during the holidays. He does have one employee that gives him a lot of grief, but he's trying to make the best of it. Anyway, yeah, I like this red on here. That does look good against that blue. I'm showing you the back side, but yeah, so I'm just doing the B stitch um, to finish up this row. How much more have I got on this row? Not much. The B stitch, and then I'll turn and I might do a double crochet in each stitch to try to catch it. I might do the V stitch again because the V stitch on top of the V stitch will look better yeah i'll probably do another, the next row of v stitches and then see but it's looking really good big daddy did say he plans on decorating the christmas tree today tonight well he said that before he fell so i don't know um if he's really going to feel like it. Oh, I didn't show y'all the little surprise. That was in the bag. Okay. So it is a Honeybee Acres. Little bitty rabbit. A baby rabbit. And a little baby rocking horse. So I can put that with my um calico critters it's so cute and then on the back of the box it shows all the different little babies that comes in that series some little uh, rocking horse a baby bed a wagon a stroller a high chair a slide and a swing and I can't tell what that is maybe a baby walker or something, some, some kind of little seat. Anyway, that's really cute. <laughs> Big old ears. <laughs> that's really cute. Well, guys, I guess I'm going to let you all get going. I hope you have a great day. It is the countdown to Christmas, right? We are going to be there before we know it. I hope you have all your stuff wrapped up. I mean, not, no, I'm not talking about gifts. I'm just talking about in general. Your necessary things wrapped up and are, you know, getting ready for the big day. Um, we, we are. We're ready. Um, just windy day now. <laughs> Whatever happens, happens. But um, our boys are supposed to be coming out for breakfast Christmas morning is what they decided they're going to fix. So, yeah. I don't know what I'll have. <laughs> I might could eat some egg. It just depends on how my esophagus feels. 
Um, sometimes I can get some scrambled egg down and sometimes I can't. It just depends. So tomorrow is Tuesday and I have to go to the hospital in the morning to get an iron infusion um, in my little pick line here. So, um, and then I guess they'll be removing this tomorrow and then probably in January I'll be getting a port in my chest and not have to fool with stuff like this anymore because I have pulled this several times one day I wore a long sleeve shirt and it got twisted up in there and the I guess the shirt made it get twisted up and it was pulling on it so I hope it's still good <laughs> I hope when they flush it tomorrow it flushes fine and then they can just hook me up and run my iron through it because um, I don't want to go through anything else I just need to do that, get it over with, and be able to leave the hospital. So anyway, guys, I'm going to let you all get going for reals this time. <laughs> I will see you all again very soon. Bye, friends. Love you all.